time. That's just how football is. Comes out to a couple plays. Um, you know, you think of how you know certain plays would have gone differently, how the game would have gone. Um, but, you know, I'm rocking with my team to that guy. So. Um, so, I mean, like I said, I'm, I love my team so much. Um, there's not a single guy who didn't give it their all. Um, you know, whether that was cheering on the crowd on the sideline or playing in the actual game. When it came to EQ, coaches, uh, trainers, everybody. Come Losing down. Marvin in the game, second half. How big a blow was that? You guys kept pushing. Yeah, Marvin's a you know one in a billion type of athlete, but um, you know you have to be ready to step up when adversity hits. Um, obviously, you know you hate to lose one of your best players, but um, I feel like you know certain guys stepped up in this moment, um, and you know I'm proud of everybody in Zone Six. I wasn't really watching. I just couldn't really didn't want to get up. Uh, yeah. CJ made a lot of big plays with his legs and ways that we had in the past in certain spots. Did you sense something different about his resolve in this game or his willingness to do whatever it took to win this football game? I wouldn't say something different. Obviously, this stage is huge. Um, but CJ is always going to give it his all. Um, you know, even if it's a game of Madden or anything like that. That's just the type of dude he is. Um, and you know, giving it his all today looked like running it more. Um, that's just what it turned out to be. Get back to you know our old ways of you know training hard with Coach Mick and you know putting the pieces together for next year. Um, so right now it's all all about preparation once again.